Hi everyone, bonsoir, this is Shariq and welcome back to another lesson with Globetrot with Arabic. This is a Lebanese Arabic lesson to my Lebanese Arabic students and it's a continuation of the lesson we did yesterday. So yesterday was Valentine's Day and we were talking about the things people do, the things people buy to each other and today we're going to talk about all the love and flowery expressions that we use to say I love you or I like you or I care about you. Before we begin, let me as usual ask you to subscribe to my channel if you're finding my lessons useful and also follow me on Facebook and on Instagram because I also upload lessons there almost on a daily basis. And by the way, today is day 17 an hour challenge because I missed a lesson two days ago. I'm uploading another lesson today. So today you will have two lessons. So stay tuned for the second one. So stay tuned for the second one. Let's begin. Of course, the first thing you would say, you have to say, if you love someone, is I love you. So, pebbak, 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 if you're talking to a guy. So, peb is I love. Sometimes we also use it to say I like. Pebbak, the ak sound in the end makes it masculine. Pebbak, I love you, if you're talking to a guy. And pebbik, the ik sound makes it feminine. I love you if you're talking to a girl so pebbak pebbik and if you're talking to more than one person if you love more than one person or maybe you're saying it to to a group of people to your family friends your children so you say pebkun pebkun so pebbak with the ak sound in the end that's masculine pebbik that's feminine and pebkun it's a group of people pebkun i love you all the second expression would be I like you. So in Arabic, we don't say I like you. We say you please me, kind of. So, inta b'ta'ajibni. Inta b'ta'ajibni. So there is a b b'ta'ajibni. But I'm saying it so fast that it almost sounds like a p. Inta b'ta'ajibni. So you say it fast. It's two consonants. B and t. Inta b'ta'ajibni. If I'm talking to a guy. انت بتعجبيني انت بتعجبيني if I'm talking to a girl and انتو بتعجبوني if you're talking to a group of people so انت بتعجبني if you're saying it to a guy انت بتعجبيني if you're saying it to a girl now if you want to say to someone that you like them very much you can say انت بتعجبني كتير or انت بتعجبيني كتير because كتير means a lot and of course, you can also say بحبك كتير, I love you a lot. بحبك كتير, I love you a lot, if you're talking to a girl. Sometimes you can also say, if you wish, I love you from all my heart. بحبك من كل قلبي. بحبك من كل قلبي. من means from. كل means all. And قلب means heart. قلبي means my heart. بحبك من كل قلبي. If you want to say it to a guy, بحبك. من كل قلبي if you're saying it to a girl and بحبكن من كل قلبي if it's a group of people the next one the next word is حبيبي حبيبي my love and حبيبتي if you're talking to a girl but we also say حبيبي even if it's a girl so sometimes if you have a girlfriend you can tell her حبيبي you don't have to say حبيبتي Although Habibte is the feminine word, I don't know why when it comes to this word, we use Habibi for both male and female. Habibi, Habibte. And this is not just if you love someone, you just say Habibi to them. It can be really your friends. And also in Lebanese culture, people say it randomly to each other to mean like dear or something. I don't like to use it a lot. I like to use it only to when I care about people. Really, I care about them. Okay, so Habibi. Habibte. You can of course say Ya Habibi as well. You don't have to say just Habibi. Ya Habibi. The Ya is a word that we use to, to address ourselves to people. It doesn't have a translation, a direct translation into English, but the closest word I can think about is Hey someone. For example, if you're talking to me, you say Hey Shariq or Ya Shariq. But this Ya word is not informal like Hey. You can say it to anyone, even if it's the queen or the, the, the closest friend to you or in the very in the most informal situation. So when I say Ya Habibi, it's like I'm saying Hey Habibi or something like that. Ya Habibi, Ya Habibti. I can also say Ya Amri, 
Ya Amr. Amr means life or age. So when you say to someone, Ya Amr, it's like you're saying them, you are my life. And it's also the same for masculine and feminine, okay? This one doesn't change. There's no Ya Amrte or something like that, no. So Ya Amr, if it's a guy, and Ya Amr, if it's also a girl. And you can also say Ya Hayate. Hayate means life. Hayate means my life. Again, this one doesn't change. Hayate and Hayate if it's a guy or a girl. Again, this word Hayate is one of the words that is also very commonly used. So even if you're not in love with someone, you can say Hayate my life. And again, I don't like to use this unless I really care about the person I'm saying it to. Okay, the next one is a sentence. I can say when I saw you, my heart beats. Lemma, lemma shiftak. Lemma means when, and it's not the question word like when are you going or when are you coming, not that one. When I saw you, so when is lemma, shiftak, shifit is I saw, shifit. But when I want to say shiftak, I'm not saying shiftak, no, it's becoming a bit abbreviated, lemma shiftak, okay? And a shifit, but so lemma shiftak, because I'm adding the the ak in the end, the you. Lemma shiftak, when I saw you, or lemma shiftik, in the feminine form. Lemma shiftak, lemma shiftik. Elbe da, elbe da. Elb, heart, elbe, my heart, da. It beats. In the, it's the past form of verb to be. Lemma shiftak, elbe da, or lemma shiftik, elbe da. The next expression is. Mood fik, mood fik. Mood is I die, fik is in you. And if it's a girl, you would say mood fike. Mood fik, mood fike. And if it's a group of people, you would say mood fikon. Mood fikon. The next one is bashaak or bashaik. Basha is I adore or or I'm infatuated or I feel very passionate. So when I say bashaak to say I adore you, bashaik, I adore you in the feminine form. So when you say this word, it's like you really love someone so much. It's like a, it's like the higher degree or something like that. So bashaak or bashaik. The next one is I can't live without you. Ma fi yaish min dunak. Fiye is I can't. Ma fiye is I can't. And by the way, you can use fine. It's exactly the same as fiye. Fine, I can. Fiye, it also means I can't. Ma fine or ma fiye, I can't. Aish, live. Min dunak. Min dunak. Without you. Min dunak. Ma fine aish min dunak. Or ma fiye aish min dunak. You can also say. Ma fi yaish balik. It's exactly the same meaning as mendunak, and it means without you. Now, if you want to say this in the feminine form, you say ma fi yaish mendunik, because you know now that the ik is feminine, and you say also ma fi yaish balik, balik. So balik is masculine. Baleke is feminine. And if you want to say this to a group of people, you would say Ma fi ne'ish balekun or Ma fi ye'ish balekun. The next one is I am in love with you or I am infatuated by you. Ana maghroome fiik. Ana maghroome fiik. And if it's a guy, you would say Ana maghroom. And you're saying it to a girl, you say Ana maghroom fiike. So, Ana Magrume, because I'm a girl, Ana Magrume Fik, with you, I'm in love with you. Ana Magrum, if it's a guy saying it, Fike, he's saying it to a girl. We have a funny expression. We say, I am in love with you uh, to my roots or something like that. So, Ana Magrume Fik, La Shlushe. La Shlushe, La until or two or four. Shlush is like the roots of a plant or something. 
la sluice until my like uh, my roots like very deeply it's a way to say i love you very deeply ana maghroume fik la sluice and if it's a guy saying it to a girl they would say ana maghroume fik la sluice the next one is you are the blood that runs through my vein it's enta dam li bijri bi'ruqi let's repeat this this is like more like a songs kind of sentences okay Enta, it dem dem means blood. Il dem we write it il dem the blood, but we pronounce it it dem, because the word dem starts with a dal, and the letter dal the d d d sound is a sun letter, and all the words in Arabic that start with a sun letter, when we add an l to them, we have to not pronounce the l. Instead of saying il dem, we say it dem. And with a liaison, we pronounce it intadam. Okay, you are the blood. And if it's feminine, you would say intadam. Okay, so intadam, yelli, which bijre, bijre means runs through. Bijre, bi, always you use bijre, bi, runs in or through. Bijre, bi, arue. Ar is vain. Singular is ar. The plural of ar is aru, and when you say my veins, you would say aru e. So inta dem el bijre be aru e, and in the feminine form, if you're saying it to a girl, basically you would say inta dem el bijre be aru e. So it's staying the same. The only thing that's changing is the inta and the ente. So next time you want to express to someone that you really like. Are crazy about them. Inta dem li bijre biarue. Another way to say that you're crazy about someone is, ana majnune fik. I am crazy about you. Ana, literally majnune, crazy, feminine form, fik in you. You would say in Arabic, which means about you, basically. Ana majnune fik. Again, we don't have a verb to be in Arabic. Remember, so it's like you're saying, I crazy. In you, which means I crazy about you. Ana majnoon fik. Ana majnoon fi ke. Baatik ayune. Baatik ayune. Baatik amre. Baatik albe. Let's say it again. I'm checking the words here. I wrote them on my laptop. So baatik ayune. I give you my eyes. Baatik albe. I give you my heart. And batik amre, I give you my life. So let's repeat this. Batik, if I'm talking to a guy, and if a guy is saying it to a girl, they would say batik. I give you feminine. Batik amre, amre means life. Amre means my life. Batik elbe, elb means heart. Elbe means my heart. And batik ayune, ayune means eyes. And you can also say "Baatik Ruhe," I give you my soul. Ruh means soul. Ruhe, my soul. So you would give everything when you love in Arabic culture. So "Baatik Ayune," I give you my eyes. "Baatik Elbe," I give you my heart. "Baatik Ruhe," I give you my soul. And "Baatik Amre," I give you my life. And if you want to say it to girl, to a girl, it's "Baatik Ayune." Baatik elbe, baatik ruhe, my soul, and baatik amre, my life. If you want to say to someone that you're getting attached to them, you would say "am betalla fik." Etalla, etalla. That's to get attached. Am betalla. I am getting attached. So the am before the verb makes it present continuous. I'm betal. I am being attached. Basically, in Arabic, you would say I am attaching, something like that. Okay. So I'm betal. Fik, literally in you, you would say, or fik if you're talking to a girl, literally in you again. So I'm being attached to you. In English, you would say, but in Arabic, we say I'm being attached in you, which means I'm being attached to you. I'm betal. Fik. I'm betal. This next one is I want to spend my lifetime with you. Bade, adde, amre, maak, or you can say amre kilo maak. Bade, I want adde to spend 
Bedde addi. Bedde addi. Amri. My life. Or you can also say hayati, no? Because it also means life. Bedde addi hayati. Or bedde addi amri. Killo. All of it. Killo. Ma'ak. Now if you say hayat, it's a feminine word. So you have to say bedde addi hayati. Killa. Killa. Ma'ak. Because killa, it's feminine. All of her, basically, which means all of it. Ma'ak. With you. But the word umr is masculine. So you would say bedde addi umri killo ma'ak. So this one doesn't depend on if you're talking to a girl or a guy. It depends on the word umr. Umri killo hayati killa. And then the ma'ak or the ma'i, that's the difference between when you're talking to a girl or when you're talking to a guy. So, بدي أدي عمري كله معك or بدي أدي حياتي كله معك. لما بشوفك بتلبك. لما, when, whenever, just like I told you, it's not a question word, no. It's like when I see you, like that. So, لما بشوفك بشوف is I see, بشوفك is I see you. بتلبك. بتلبك is like how can I say this? Like you get uh, uh, confused and nervous and uh, you know, like you don't know what to do. That's the word. There is no particular translation to this one into English, but it's a mixture of like when you see someone and you feel nervous and you don't know what to do and it, because you are you love them or you're confused, you know. So that's bitlebba. I don't know, maybe you like someone and you see them and suddenly you know you want to turn away your face. And also bitlebak doesn't only mean when you are in love or something. No, maybe there's a situation that is difficult and you really don't know what to do and suddenly you get confused and nervous and everything at the same time. Okay? So that's Anna Bitlebak. Bitlebak. Okay. So Lemma Pshufak, when I see you, Bitlebak. And lemma pshufik, that's when you're talking to a girl, bitlabbak. By the way, tlabbakit is in the past, bitlabbak is in the present. Let's say you, you saw your ex-girlfriend or ex-boyfriend and you felt nervous and you, you know, you didn't know how to act around them. You say, ana tlabbakit, ana tlabbakit. The next one is, when you pass by me, I shiver. Lemma ptimru haddi birjuf. Okay? Lemma ptimru. Ptimru is you pass by. Lemma ptimru. When you pass by. Haddi. Had, you know from our previous lessons that it means next to. Haddi means next to me. Bitlabbak. You can also say bitlabbakir. Or birjuf. I shiver. Lemma ptimru e haddi. If you're talking to a girl. Lemma ptimru e haddi. When you pass by me or next to me. Birjuf. I shiver. I'm thinking about you. عم فكر فيك عم فكر فيك بفكر is I think عم فكر is I am thinking فيك in you that's how you say it in Arabic and فيك in you literally that's how you say it in Arabic again that's feminine but it means of course I'm thinking about you okay so عم فكر فيك عم فكر فيك and you can even say I can't stop thinking of you ما عم بقدر وقف Let's repeat this because it's quite long. Ma am bidar if I can't stop. Ma am bidar is I can't. Ma am bidar I can't. Ma am bidar what if what if I can't stop. Ma am bidar what if. Okay. Ma am bidar what if. Fakir fiq. Thinking about you. So when you say what if fakir fiq, stop thinking about you. And if it's to a girl, you would say "Ma'am, be'dar wa'if fakir fiike." Ma'am, be'dar wa'if fakir fiike, or "Ma'am, be'dar wa'if fakir fiike." Let's see the next one. I can't take you off my head, or I can't take you off my heart. Ma'am, be'dar, as we said, "Ma'am, be'dar shilak." Shil is to remove. Shilak is to remove you. And if you're talking to a girl, you have to say "shilik." Remove you in the feminine form. Ma am bidar. I am unable to shilak min albi from my heart. Ma am bidar shilik min albi. And you can say I can't get you off my head. Ma am bidar shilak remove you. That's how you say it in Arabic. Shilak min rasi. You know now that ras means head from our previous lesson. So min rasi from my head. Ma am bidar shilak min rasi. 
I can't stop thinking of, about you basically I can't get you off my head ما عم بقدر شيلك من راسي and if you want to ask someone to kiss you you would say بوسني بوس kiss بوسني kiss me and if you want to say it to a girl you say بوسيني بوسي you're saying just بوسي kiss and بوسيني now when it's alone you just say بوسي with the A sound kiss but because you're adding the ni ne in the end, you're not going to say buse ne. No, you're going to say busine. You you start pronouncing the e busine. So busne, if you want to ask a guy to kiss you, busine. If you want to ask a girl to kiss you, yalla. The next one is I can't wait to see you. In Arabic, you say I can't believe to see you. Mish msadda. Msadda literally means the believer, okay? Mish msadda, I can't wait to see you, which means literally I am not the believer. I can't believe when to see you, basically. Mish msadda shufik, I can't wait to see you. Mish msadda shufik. And if you want to say it to a guy, you have to say Mish msadda because msadda literally believer feminine. Mish msadda shufak. Mishim said ashufak. I can't wait to see you if I'm talking to a guy. Mishim said da shufik. I can't wait to see you if it's to a girl. When I see you, my heart melts. Lamma bshufak, elbe bidoub. My heart melts. Lamma bshufak, when I see you, or lamma bshufik, again, when you're talking to a girl. Elbe, my heart. Bidoub, bidoub, it melts. Lamma bshufak, albi bidoub. Or lamma bshufak, albi bid, it beats. Okay? Lamma bshufak, albi bidoub, it melts. Lamma bshufak, albi bid. And lamma bshufik, again, if it's a girl, lamma bshufik, albi bid, lamma bshufik, albi bidoub. Inta, kil shi, binnis bila ele. Inta, you, masculine. كل شيء everything she means thing كل شيء means everything بالنسبة لا now بالنسبة لا literally means according to بالنسبة لا إلي according to me okay but yours it means to me or for me you're everything to me so أنت كل شيء بالنسبة لا إلي you are everything to me that's masculine أنت كل شيء بالنسبة لي. If you're saying it to a girl, أنت كل شيء بالنسبة لي. Like you are everything to me. Nothing is more important than you. I need you next to me as بديك حد. بدي I want. بديك I want you. حد حد is next to. حد means next to me. بديك حد. I need you next to me. And if you want to say it to a girl, you say بديك حد. بديك حد. Next to me. Now let's go to some like funnier expressions. Like you know, sometimes some of them are even like a street kind of expressions. The first one is, I worship the ground which you walk on. Okay. بعبد الأرض اللي بتمشي عليها. Let me say it slower. بعبد I adore or I worship الأرض the ground. Ground means arid, and it also means floor, by the way, and it also means land. But in this case, it means ground, okay? بعبد الأرض, I worship the ground. يلي, which we abbreviate usually as لي, okay? Which means which, okay? بتمشي, you walk, عليا, on it. In English, you would say which you walk on. In Arabic, we say which you walk on it. And more specifically, I'm saying which you walk on her. Why? Because the word arid is a feminine word. So I have to say عليا, مش علي. If it was a masculine word, I would have said علي, on it. But here I'm saying عليا, on it, feminine. So بعبد الأرض اللي بتمشي عليا. With the liaison, بعبد الأرض اللي الأرض اللي you see how you pronounce it بعبد الأرض اللي بتمشي عليها always put liaisons in Arabic it always will make you sound more native okay بعبد الأرض اللي بتمشي عليها it doesn't change if you're saying it to a guy or a girl now <laughs> you are the hash of my heart and انت حشيشة قلبي if you're saying it to a girl حشيشة is a hash 
قلب is hard قلب is my heart انت حشيشة قلبي it's a way to say I love you so much you are you know in English you would say you are the apple of my eye in Arabic you would say you are the hash of my heart انت حشيشة قلبي او انت حشيشة قلبي and finally we have this uh, the series of يقبرني and تقبرني words so يقبرني يقبرني That's how this, you say it. And moms say it a lot to their babies. يقبرني, like with the r- rolling R, okay? يقبرني. Literally, you're saying, may he bury me. Even if you're talking to that person, it means may you bury me. But you, you're literally saying, may he bury me. Why do we say this? It's like, I love you so much that I want to die before you and I don't want you to die before me. يقبرني. We also say, تقبرني. يقبرني and تقبرني and if you're talking to a girl you can say تقبريني now most for now stick to يقبرني because you can say to a guy to a girl to to anyone okay so يقبرني may you bury me now the whole series starts there is a lot of يقبرني whatever يقبرني many things for example يقبرني قلبك okay يقبرني قلبك may your heart bury me which means uh Again, I love you so much that may your heart bury me. And it's a way also to say that like you have a very nice heart or a very kind heart. Sometimes you say it for that. يقبرني قلبك If you're talking to a guy. And يقبرني قلبك If you're talking to a girl. يقبرني تيزك يقبرني موديلك Model, we pronounce it model the Lebanese way, okay? يقبرني موديلك Model is the way you look like today, like uh, your appearance or something like that. So, يقبرني موديلك May the way you look or your appearance or whatever it is, bury me. Uh, it's like you're saying you're s- you look really good today or something like that. Or even if they don't look good, you just want to say I love you so much because you did something nice to me now or something like that. You say يقبرني موديلك If it's a girl, you will say يقبرني موديلك يقبرني موديلك And many times, you can just do this to the cheeks of a baby, for example, and go like يقبرني Like that? Yeah, that's like, like you're so cute. That's how you say it. Okay. By the way, if you want to say to someone you're so cute, you can say انت كتير مهدوم انت, you, كتير, very, مهدوم, cute And if it's a girl, you will say انت, you, feminine, كتير مهدوم Now, and the last one would be يقبرني تيزك يقبرني تيزك Again, يقبر is to bury, he buries يقبرني, may he bury me or may it bury me تيزك, تيز means your bum تيزك if you're talking to a guy and if you're talking to a girl it's teasing now even if you're using the word tease which means bum or ass okay it's not something like vulgar or slang no if even you can say this to a baby mainly we use this expression to pamper babies if i have my little niece i can say like يقبرني تيزك yeah and we always use this lick sound before it f- before it lick lick يقبرني تيزك that's if you're talking to a guy to your boyfriend if you're talking to a girl you see I'm doing this with my hands sometimes you do this as well or this or whatever you want to do and uh, we don't usually say if you want you can say that okay so and or just okay I think With the to'burne, it's enough for today. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, let me know which expressions you liked the most and leave them in the comment box below. And I shall see you tomorrow. And happy Valentine's Day again. And I hope your life will always be filled with love. See you tomorrow. Bye.